What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to show you a time lapse of me creating a retro postcard in Affinity Designer on the iPad. You know, Affinity Designer is a very powerful design program. In fact, it's probably the most powerful design program that exists on the iPad right now. And so today, we're going to take a look at what it can really do by doing a time lapse of me creating a retro postcard on it. And this whole process is actually documented in my brand new course, Designing a Retro Postcard on Affinity Designer on the iPad, which is available now on Skillshare. And if you're interested in learning this whole process step by step, you can go ahead and click the link to that course in the description of this video. And I also have a link down there that's a promotional link for the first 25 people who click through on it. So if you're one of the first 25, you can actually take this course completely for free and you can have access to it forever. You know, it's one thing to watch a time lapse like this and to see somebody do something and you can kind of dissect things from the workflow by watching, but it's another thing to actually have that process broken down for you by a teacher step by step and then be able to share that project like you can on Skillshare so that you can get feedback from that teacher. And that's what I'd love to see you do. So let's go ahead, let's dive in and watch how I create a retro postcard in Affinity Designer on the iPad.
All right, for those of you that stuck around, I hope that you really enjoyed watching that time lapse and seeing my process. Now, this isn't the only way to do something like this, but it's the way that I do it. And I hope that you've enjoyed seeing it. Now I want to hear from you. Go ahead and drop in the comments. Tell me, do you like this kind of design? Have you done something like this? And what kinds of things are you interested in seeing me teach in the future? Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.